Hello, this is Breno Nunes. Uh, thanks for your interest in BN3378 uh, Sustainable Operations Management. This is the final year, a final year module. Uh, in this very short video, I will comment on the learning outcomes expected in this module. I uh, will provide some basic information about the module, uh, including entry requirements and some guidelines on prior performance or experience that you might have. Uh, the delivery methods and the method of assessment and then the skill sets and career paths that uh, these modules linked to. Well, learning outcomes. Uh, by the end of this module, uh, you should be able to comprehend the drivers that pressure uh, organizations to make their operations more sustainable. Also, recognize the elements and trade-offs uh, within the, the dimensions of operation sustainability. Uh, there are three dimensions in sustainable development and we use them for operation sustainability. So they are economic, environmental and, and social. Uh, we also expect you to be able to analyze the areas of operations and formulate plans to improve their sustainability. Uh, and to apply the theory to a specific uh, business context to use the tools and techniques that you're going to learn throughout the module to effectively, uh, to effectively manage operations for a higher sustainability performance. Uh, this is a new module, uh, final year module, 15 credits. Uh, there are no prerequisites. Uh, however, we do expect students to remember the fundamentals of operations management and uh, to, to be interested in, in real case applications in different international environments. So we're going to be using uh, loads of cases uh, from different parts of the world and then we expect uh, you to to be aware of the international dimension alongside the sustainability uh, and, and how they connect to the sustainability dimensions. Uh, the module activities may involve numerical analysis uh, but also verbal and written reasoning. Uh, you're going to be assessed on 100% on, uh, exams, so the written reasoning will be uh, the predominant area that we are going to develop on you. Uh, we also uh, welcome students who have done their placements in, in areas such as uh, sustainability operations management, supply chain management, R&D design, uh, product development, uh, facilities management, as well as marketing. Well. This module will be delivered to uh, two hour uh, lecture sessions. The sessions will have a variety of delivery methods, but they will be primarily uh, uh, delivered through the first part uh, in, in, in the background of the theory. And then we're going to move towards an activity in, that involves the application of the of the theory to a particular problem, so problem solving, case analysis. Uh, we may use in few lectures uh, the flip uh, flipped classroom methods so we might go directly to trying to solve a problem and then visiting the, the, the theory later uh, and uh, our lectures will be uh, very interactive uh, very discussion and uh, uh, based and including lots of debates as well uh, as I said before you know this is a 100% uh, closed book exam duration of two hours uh, as we are training you in the lectures with uh, theory and problem solving. The, the exam will also have two parts, one to assess your theoretical knowledge and your ability to apply the theory. Well, we expect you by the end of the module to have developed uh, some sort of uh, analytical skills that will help you uh, in assisting organizations to reduce the environmental impacts, uh, to enhance their socioeconomic value and uh, to reduce risks associated to greening operations. Uh, you should be able to help out organizations, both uh, private and public, to, to plan uh, a strategic and effective implementation of green operation practices. Uh, we do know that uh, more and more companies are now taking sustainability to uh, a strategic level and they uh, cascade all these strategic plans towards operational implementation uh, uh, of uh, environmental and sustainability initiatives. So uh, I think this is quite appealing to have graduates that uh, understand not just about sustainability but also about business sustainability. Uh, in addition to the private sector, we expect government agencies and NGOs also to be interested in our graduates. Uh, 
for the same reason, uh, because you're going to have a unique set of skills that allow you to understand about both uh, sustainability and uh, businesses. That's all I had for you today. Uh, thank you very much and uh, good luck in your final year.